Hi, this is Ken Ham, CEO of Answers Genesis Creche Museum and the Ark Encounter, and do we have a fun little program for you because we're going to be talking to Dr. Georgia Purdom and Roger Patterson from our Education Content Division. Oh, that noise in the background is a zip line, <laughs> actually, behind us. And we have some exciting programs coming up for young people we do. and we're going to be doing more and more of these programs and they're very popular and they're usually booked out very very quickly wait till you see what's in store for june and july for some three day and five day camps we call them they're day camps people don't stay overnight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they come to the area and stay somewhere and right. and their their kids come here and so first of all Dr. Purdom, tell us what we're doing and what the age limits are and so okay. on. Okay, okay. So these are our Explore camps, and we have we do have a camp next week, but that one's already uh, closed for registration. But we have another one coming up, a uh, five-day camp in uh, July. That's July 12th through the 16th. And then we also have uh, two three-day camps as well, uh, our Forensic Science Camp, which is June 30th through July 2nd, and then our um, Teach Me Automation, which is our STEM camp, which will be July 21st through the 23rd. And of course, all of this information is available on the Creation Museum website under Education and Explore. And these are really great. These are for um, ages, basically, or grades 6 through 12. Um, so they can come and have these day camps, have a lot of hands-on science, um, professional instruction. You get a t-shirt. Uh, you get completion certificates at the end, a uh, parking pass. Uh, so your parents can come and park here and they can enjoy the uh, Creation Museum while you're in camp as well. Um, everything is provided for the camp, all the education materials, all the lab supplies. And for our five-day camp, each day we cover a different topic. So we're going to be covering um, earth science, physical science, which includes zip lining, and we're going to have a demonstration of that pretty shortly, forensic science, zoology, and astronomy. So that one actually starts in the evening, and you get to do some fun stuff um, with the um, planetarium and our observatory. And Dr. Danny Faulkner, who's the one that's going to be zip lining as well, um, he's our uh, astronomer. And then we also have um, with our forensic camps. Uh, Dr. Jennifer Rivera, she is a forensic scientist, so she's going to be leading those and teaching those and helping out with those. Um, and uh, you'll do a lot of fingerprinting. You'll do DNA fingerprinting, which is, I love as a geneticist. Um, shoe impressions, soil analysis, tool impressions, interrogation techniques, which is really cool in my opinion. Uh, so lots of fun things with that. And then our, audit, our STEM camp, our Teach Me Automation camp, um, um, you'll learn a lot about um, different kinds of engineering, like electrical, mechanical, hydraulic, um, learning about transistors and relays and sensors and um, doing putting together a final project. Um, so lots of interesting things there as well if you're interested in sort of the engineering side of things. So there really is something for everyone. Now, this is not fair. You know that? I mean, grades what? Six through 12? Six through 12th grade. What about someone like me? Too bad, Ken. You're too old. You're too I'm old. <laughs> that sounds so good. I want to go to it. I know. I, I really, really do want to cool. go. Okay, Roger, um, you're involved in blowing things up, right? Um, yes, that's what people often think of. So with my new science program, Unlocking Science, we get to engage people and do lots of fun um, activities, teach them about how God's created the world and how we can use science to understand the world. And uh, we're going to be bringing a lot of that teaching into the camps. So with the different programs we're doing each day, We've got a different focus, a different emphasis. So we're going to kind of show you some of the things that we're going to be doing on our physical science day. So Dr. Danny Faulkner is up on top of the tower up here getting ready to zip. Oh, he's ready to zip. Yeah. But I've got a couple other things okay. we're going to show you. Right. So we're going to be talking about electrochemistry in one of our sections. So we'll learn why this potato clock actually works and how we can power a clock using potatoes. It's really not the potatoes that are doing it, but we'll learn about that principle. Uh, we'll learn about a potato clock. A potato clock, yeah, That's electrochemistry. It's uh -huh. not a potato head clock. No, it's not. It's not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll learn about some different physical science phenomena, like if I just drop this battery down through this pipe, it just goes right through very quickly, right? But if I add some magnets to it, and the magnets are not gonna stick to the copper pipe itself, but if I add some magnets to it, it doesn't drop through quite so quickly. Why does that happen? 
We're going to talk about the connection between electricity. I don't know. Why does it happen? I'm not going to give you the answer. Okay. You've got to come to the camp okay. to find out. This is a teaser for the camp. Oh, okay. All so right. we'll talk about how electricity and magnetism are related to one another and those things. Um, we'll learn the difference between a battery and a cell. Most people call these things batteries, but this is actually a cell, that's and this a is a battery. battery. That's a small battery. No, this is four cells hooked together to form one battery. This is one cell. So there's actually four of these inside of here. So we'll learn about how that helps us create more voltage or more amperage, different ways. I remember looking at cells under a microscope. Different kind of cell. This is an electrochemical cell okay. we'll be studying. This is physical okay. science. And this is all from a biblical worldview perspective. That's the uniqueness of these programs. That's what truly makes them unique and something that we love to offer here at the Creation Museum. There'll be lots of apologetics teaching as well um, in the camps. Yep. And as we think about all these things, my, my delight is to show you how God has created a universe that's orderly and we can understand it. So one of those things is the laws of motion. So we'll be talking about the laws of motion using fun things like this giant slingshot that launches water balloons. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to be launching, the <laughs> launching some water balloons out you, in the parking lot. You just like lot. doing this because I, it takes you back to your childhood, it does. doesn't it? I turn into like a little fourth grade boy doing all kinds of fun science things. So we're going to use these giant slingshots to launch water balloons and talk about Newton's laws of motion. And I've also constructed over here another type of device to do that. You'll probably recognize this as a catapult. So we're going to demonstrate this. This is one of the fun things I get paid to build. So. Uh, I always tell people my job is the greatest job in the world because I get paid to blow stuff up and build fun machines like this. So I built this catapult to help us understand that. So I need um, you, Ken, to put your foot on that side. George is going to put her foot over there, and we're going to demonstrate how this catapult will launch a balloon down here. So we're going to be Fine. using this to... I have an idea. Why don't we get a videographer to stand there and you can see if you can aim. <laughs> if I can hit her. So we're going to be talking about ballistics and trajectory and force and energy and how God's created a universe that's orderly and functional and we can understand all the different pieces of it and use fun things like this catapult and the water balloons to, to do that. Wow. Somebody might get wet during this activity. Okay. But <laughs> um, that would be biblical too. Remind them of the flood. Oh yeah, sure. We could tie in some flood illusions <laughs> there. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to do now? Um, so we just want to make sure that people know that these are really engaging activities for the kids to come and learn. Uh, we want to make them fun and entertaining, but still very educational at the same time and bringing in those biblical truths. And one of the funnest things, I think, for this camp this year... Funnest? Fun, most most funnest, fun. Most funnerest. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the funnest things, the most fun thing that's going to happen is the zip lining. So on our okay. physical science day, we're going to be sending the kids with Dr. Faulkner to talk about motion and gravity and physics. And they all, zip line to do Zip that. lining, yeah. yeah. So up way up on the tower up here, if we turn around here, we can see Dr. Faulkner's up here on the tower, way up high in the sky. This is one of the great fun activities families can do when they come to the Creation Museum or even down at the Ark Encounter. And Dr. Faulkner's up there. And are we gonna launch him? All right, and Dr. Faulkner is ready to go and we're gonna send him across the lake on his zipline adventure, just like the kids will be doing at camp this year. Okay, on the count of one, two, three. <laughs> there he goes. So, as Ken mentioned earlier, these are I'm just, just waiting kids. for the explosion when he hits the other end. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, these are just for kids, but kids of all ages can enjoy the activities here at the Creation Museum as well. Well, that is fantastic. You know, um, I wish I could be a kid again. Well, you I can never had, zip. I've never had opportunity of doing all this from a biblical worldview perspective. And yeah. so, you know, this, this is absolutely incredible. Well, I, where'd our videographer go? We've, She's over there. Oh. We should walk over there. To her. Oh, look, that's one of our zipline team actually going down. Are they going down to rescue Danny, or what are they doing? <laughs> I, I think he's what... okay. You think he's okay? Did he get there? Let's have a look here. Well, these Christian Museum grounds are beautiful, aren't they? 
Look at that. This they is, are. you know, there's about 22 zip lines here all together, actually. Yeah, moving and they go through the trees property. and challenge course. Down at the Ark, there are zip lines that actually go across the valleys. Yeah, the first one so. here go go right across the pond. Mm -hmm. It's a little scary taking that first leap, but it's fun <laughs> uh, zipping across so. the water. So great things to see. We'll be doing bird watching out on the museum grounds, um, all types of activities, uh, a fun scavenger hunt where they're gonna, mm -hmm. the kids are gonna really be challenged to think through some some tough questions and use the minds that God's given them to, yeah. to answer yeah. those questions. And we have a science lab here at the Creation yes. Museum. Mm -hmm. And we have some special uh, rooms mm -hmm. that we have workshop rooms and so on that we use. Right. Uh, and then down at the Ark, we're actually building a science lab as well. And we're going to be able to do more and more We're going to be able to do more uh, things even next year. So, so be watching the website for more information on that. But to register for these camps, you need to go to the Creation Museum website, click on the tab at the top that says Education, and then click on Explore, and it will take you to where the camps are. So be sure to register soon, um, because like I say, these camps do fill up very, very quickly. And if you want to take advantage of this great opportunity, uh, be sure to do that soon. Well, there you are. I'm just disappointed I can't join in on all this, and that's discrimination against old people. You realize that. I'm glad to let you launch the catapult if you'd like to afterwards. As long as you're standing at the end. All right. So I can see if I can hit you with it. Anyway, hey, make sure you uh, sign up for this. If you're grade 6 through 12, get your parents to watch this and say, hey, I want to do this because you learn from a biblical worldview perspective, which is really unique, and that's what we need to do, raise up generations who know how to think correctly, biblically, uh, about all these issues and fun learning science and yeah. all sorts of different aspects at the same time. Okay, make sure you come to one of our three-day or five-day camps.